Let's see how activities work. Well, to know how they work, we first need to create one of them. So let's go to the activity switcher and then click on create a new activity. You will see the list of all open activities to the left. We can choose an icon, pretty much N is fine. And then a name, which should be descriptive, such as example. And we can also set a shortcut to switch to that activity immediately, otherwise just meta tab or meta shift tab by default. And we can also set a privacy level if you maybe don't want your current error um, clicks to be saved because current error saves uh, what element you click so that the next time you do the same search, it gets uh, pushed at the top. Of course, nothing is shared with KD by default, that's obvious. But anyway, let's click it, why not? And then create a new activity. And when you do this, you will uh, see that it will be added to the list of um, the activities. And uh, we might want to switch between them. We can just click on them, but another way is to use MetaTab. And yet another way is to use the widgets. There are three of them. The first one is the just activity. Uh, it's the one that I use the most. It tells us what activity we are in and the list of activities when you click on it. The second one is actually a tab bar of all activities and you just have to click um, between them to switch. Pretty easy. And uh, the last one is actually um, the virtual desktop one. It's like the virtual desktop one. We can see all activities which between them just by clicking and we can also see if there are our window open and so on. So that said, we can try to switch to our default activity and then let's, we can actually start using them. As an example, we might want to organize a task. Say we need that this Dolphin instance um, maybe we want to work on this init.py file and we need to do some work with it. Let's open it with gate. So to do this, we can either use it here among other windows or we could just bring them both to another activity to make the work a bit more organized and less prone to distractions as well. So let's see how to move uh, Dolphin to another activity. Just open the left sidebar and then drag Dolphin from the task manager to the activity. And that's it. Then let's switch to that activity. And as you can see, we have Dolphin. Another feature is to be able to save a desktop configuration for each activity. As an example, we can change the wallpaper. Let's maybe pick something pretty. Let's see what I've got. These are all of the wallpapers. Let's actually go with shell because I like it. And then we can actually have this wallpaper to be in this activity and another activity will have its own wallpaper. We can also add widgets. As an example, let's pick the clock one. And then this widget, uh, this activity, sorry, will have this widget and another activity can have other widgets. So we can see that we have our, we have our activity wallpaper, our activity widget and our activity windows. So you can uh, stay organized with our task. As an example, one thing that I used to do a bit ago was to actually use a widget that is called um, GitLab Issues, uh, if I remember correctly, by Zayran, which is super useful. And uh, I linked it to the KDE GitLab account so that I actually received all of the issues and uh, mostly uh, pull requests and it was very useful but of course I only needed it for the KDE activity so I just put it here in the background of the KDE activity so when I switched back to the default one or maybe to the school one it disappeared. And activities really are about organizing the work. I've got my school one with, um, you know, the lessons I need to rewatch or the default one, but also the Python one with the scripts that I'm writing and so on. Then one of the most beautiful, I think, feature is the ability to actually stop an activity. Maybe you're like giving it a pause. 
you're not longer working on it as an example i'm not studying i'm not using this uh, example activity nor i'm writing pythons so i can just stop them i actually need to close um, the dolphin dialog before closing the python one and then those activity will be just removed from ram uh, the application will be closed but their state will be remembered which means that just by clicking them we can bring back all of the windows where we left them at the position and um, the settings and so on as we were working with them it works just perfectly with uh, first party apps it works okay-ish with some trouble sometimes with third party apps as you can see dolphin was restored exactly as we had put it before so flawless another useful feature is in the favorites so in kickoff and uh, basically if you have an application that you only use in one activity as an example kid in live to me is of course only used in the KDE activity because that's in the activity i do videos on i can just take kid in live right click and add it to the favorites but only to this activity or any other really you can also select multiple activities which means that when i open up kickoff i will have kid in live in the KDE activity but I actually won't have it in the default activity. It will be just disappear. So I can switch between them and the favorite apps in kickoff will adapt to what I'm doing right now. Then there's another feature that it's not 100% supported. So maybe you don't use it, but if you need to, here it is. Right click on a file and then select um, link this file to this activity or any other activity as before. This will basically tell the activity, this is a file that I very much often use when using this activity or any other activity. And in practice, this means that we can go to the URL activities, uh, activity, sorry, activities, uh, colon, and that's it and we can see all of the open activities and if we click on the current one you can see all the files linked to our current activity another way to put it is to actually go to add a new widget which shall be the folder view and then in the settings of the folder view select as a custom directory activities uh, colon slash current slash and this will make the folder view always show the files that you should be working on or that are related to the activity you are in. So this one is also pretty useful. I will also show you the settings of the activities. There's pretty much the stuff we talked about earlier. And then that's almost it. Uh, one more thing is that you can right click on the title bar of a window and then select show in activities to make a window appear in one or more activities. As an example, if I don't know, I need Telegram to be in many activities at the same time, I just right click um, the title bar, select the activities and select all of them. And it will be there regardless of what activity I'm using. Finally, one last thing you should look into is customizing the task manager. You can actually choose whether to show the icons from this activity or all activities. If you show the icons from all activities, that will make it a bit easier to switch between them. Maybe you have this application, in this activity, another application, in another activity, and you just click and switch between the activities as well but uh, maybe it's also better to also keep it just from this activity so that you don't get a messy panel with lots of icons in different activities because the whole purpose was to get organized and that's pretty much it i hope that you better understood activities and that this video was useful bye bye